Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's a trip hazard. She's on now. Hey team. Hey team, Anthony here. Today I've got another product walkthrough video. Today I'm reviewing the Freeform UB1000 semi-commercial upright bike. That was really robotic. Let's do it again. Hey team, Anthony here. Today I've got another product walkthrough video. Today I'm reviewing the Freeform UB1000 semi-commercial upright bike. So let's work our way um, from the ground up. So let's work our way from the ground up. You can see it's got a really nice um, rear stabilization foot plate here uh, with a handle, which makes it easy for you to move the product around your uh, training or, or home facility. Um, so yeah, that's a nice uh, chrome handle here. It's got two foot plates, um, two, so it's got two um, slip coating foot plate. Uh, where? starting off. So let's start at the base of the unit. So you can see it's got two really nice wide stabilization uh, foot plates here. Um, they both have two points of adjustment, so uh, self-leveling feet uh, on the bases of the unit. And also on this rear stabilizer, uh, it has a nice um, safe anti-slip coating uh, for mounting and unmounting the bike. Also has this nice oversized chrome handle here, uh, which makes it nice and simple for when you want to move this around your home or semi-commercial environment. Um, it's nice and simple. You just lift it up um, like so, and there's two wheels on the front, which are going to make it even more easy to move around your uh, training facility. Oh. The machine itself weighs 49 kilos, so it's not overly heavy, but it's heavy enough uh, to be a solid structure uh, unit, which is going to withstand those uh, high intensity training intervals. Um, and it's really going to last uh, the time that you need it to uh, in your home or semi-commercial environment. So moving through, um, you can see the so moving through to the pedals, it's a three piece crank system here uh, with a nine kilo uh, flywheel, which is nice and um, semi-commercial. So moving through to the pedaling system here, uh, it's a three piece crank system uh, with a nine kilo smooth motion flywheel, uh, which is going to really stand up to uh, any harsh environment uh, in a semi-commercial uh, facility. Um, you can see the foot uh, straps here are nice and adjustable. They're a nice wider foot plate here with um, all different touch sensory um, buttons. Um, so they're fully adjustable. On one side, it's got two adjustment points. So if you've got a nice wide foot, um, it's capable to expand the foot plate itself. And then it has um, seven adjustment points on the, the front here, which you can see uh, nice and easy there. So it's a real nice smooth motion. At the rear of the machine, um, I didn't explain before, but uh, the cable, uh, you need to plug this into the wall um, for it to work, uh, the resistance. So uh, it's an electromagnetic um, resistance system. Um, moving on to the seat now, you've got 10 points of adjustment in height. So you've got this nice uh, pop pin here, which makes it nice and simple to uh, undo. So it's got a double locking system. It's got the pop pin and then the quick release and then it's got the locking uh, mechanism here. If you're a taller person or a shorter person, uh, this machine also caters to you. So it's uh, got this other point of adjustment to bring the seat forward or right back for a taller person. So that's a nice quick uh, twist handle here. It's got an oversized, uh, it's got an oversized seat pad here, which is, uh, got real top quality uh, upholstery on it and it's contoured to uh, really, um, it's got a nice contoured shape uh, to make it as comfortable as possible uh, when you're riding this machine. Let's uh, jump on it here. So it's really simple to mount. Just simply jump on it. I've got it on the very top here. So nice and simple to tighten up these beach straps. So you're going to want to go from the back you're going to want to go from the back to the front. So start at the back there, push it across the front and that's nice and tight there. 
It's got a nice uh, cup and drink holder there. So the seat's nice and comfortable. It's got ergonomic um, semi-commercial handles here with um, touch sensors for your manual um, pulse readings. Um, so yeah, it's got a lot of different positions that you can ride in. So if you want to ride in a real upright position, you can hold your hands here. You can even go to an underhand grip here. You can go to the uh, pulse grips right there, or you can go into that triathlon position there. So nice and simple there. Um, you can utilize this uh, machine with a polar heart rate monitor. So uh, you can purchase this separately uh, and that syncs up and is compatible with the UV1000. So it obviously has the inbuilt uh, heart rate sensors right here, uh, which if you don't have, um, if you don't have the polar chest strap, um, you don't specifically need it for your heart rate uh, monitoring. It's got a nice, um, it's got a nice media platform here, so you can put your phone in there, watch uh, whatever you wish um, on there. You can listen to music uh, and have it sit in there. So it's got a touch screen um, and also a quick button system. So 20 levels. It's got 15, it's got 15 levels of resistance, which is nice. Um, Let's just start. It's got 24 levels. It's got 24 levels of resistance, uh, which is nice and easy uh, to use with this uh, quick touch system here. Um, so you can customize your workout. You can use one. You can, so you can fully customize your workout. You can use one of the preset programs. You can do heart rate training. Uh, you can do uh, what uh, training. You can do hills all different types of training. Um, so you can really monitor your fitness growth and your development uh, utilizing the system here with the um, age recognition and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to um, be a good test of your heart rate. That's so, I don't know what that is. So it's got a whopping 24 levels uh, of resistance, which is really, unheard of in the um, semi-commercial game. Um, so there's all different types of preset programs that you can use. You can customize your workout. You can do heart rate training. Uh, you can do what training. You can do distance training, calorie training, all that type of stuff. You can set up uh, your age in here so you can really track your fitness um, development and uh, work really hard towards those fitness goals that you may have. So as I said before, it's really nice and simple to um, mount and unmount this, simply just click off your foot pedal there, stand on that. So when I stood on that then, you can see I've used these auto le uh, these leveling feet um, to make sure that this is nice and stable. It's really solid in construction. Um, it's got a good, it's got a really good natural feel when you're, when you're riding it. It's, your knee doesn't come over your toes too far. It, uh, makes you sit nice and upright, uh, which is what a good upright bike should do. So there you have it guys, the Freeform UB1000 upright bike. So there you have it, so there you have it team, the Freeform UB1000 semi-commercial upright bike. One thing I didn't say. The bikes uh, max user rating. Let's get the dimensions.
150 kilos, 125, 62, 145. So the bike itself um, has a, so the bike itself is really nice and stable. It has a max user rating of 150 kilos. Uh, the dimensions of the uh, the UB1000. So the max length it is is 124. Oh, sorry, sorry. So the max length that it is is 132. The width of the bike itself, so the widest part, would be this rear stabilisation um, point, is about 64 centimetres, and the uh, max height, which would be the top of the handles here, is uh, 146 centimetres. So really not going to take up much space in your home or training facility. There you have it, guys. The UB, the there you have it, guys. There you have it team, the Freeform UB1000 semi-commercial upright bike.